In today's video, we're going to go over what sold while we were at the Boss Reseller Remix in Las Vegas. It was a really awesome event. We learned a lot. We got to meet a lot of new people, see a lot of old friends, and it was totally worth our time to go. At the end of the video, we have a recap of that event. So if you're here specifically for that recap and want to skip past the what sold, I will put the timestamp of when that starts down below and you can go directly to that and skip over the what sold. Unfortunately, our sales for that week, since we've been out of town three times now this fall, the sales for this particular week were literally the worst of our entire year. So don't judge our sales on what sold during this week. But if you're new here and we do have a lot of new people, hi and welcome. My name is Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I are part-time resellers. We buy things at places like thrift stores, garage sales, and we flip them online to sell for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Consider hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell on, and then you can be kept informed of all of our future content. It would also mean a lot to us if you would hit that like button and let us and YouTube know that you're enjoying this video. Let's dive in to what sold for the week of October 15th through 21st. The first thing that sold was a Motorola power adapter charging cord. We had gotten this at a church rummage sale. There was literally this big rat's nest of cords in a grocery bag or a box or something, and I think we paid $5 for the entire box. And a lot of them were branded with stuff like Motorola, Samsung, and all that, so we just untangled them and started listing them. and. They are not fast sellers by any means, but when somebody's looking for that specific cord, we, you know, have it for them and they buy it from us, so it worked out. Our cost of goods on this item was just 26 cents. This sold for our full asking price of $9.99. Next up was a cassette tape called Memories of Arlington Stadium, Texas Rangers, Nolan Ryan. It was new in the package. Texas Rangers stuff is selling really well right now for obvious reasons, so this is probably why this sold. We got this at a garage sale for just 50 cents, and it sold for $14.99. That was our full asking price. Next up was a lot of two Cedarmont Kids Action Bible Songs VHS and a School Days cassette. This particular brand, we've picked this up several times, and every time we've picked it up, it has sold pretty quickly. So we're on the lookout for these Cedarmont Kids there's something about them that is nostalgic to people or something like that because they're always flying off our shelf. We got this at a thrift store. We paid 40 cents for both of them and they sold for an offer to buyer of $17.18. Next up was a pillow pet-ish item. If you've seen our videos in the past, you know that pillow pets specifically sell really, really well for us. We rarely keep them in stock for more than about three months. This was not a pillow pet brand. We decided to pick it up in the Goodwill bins and give it a shot to see if it would do as well as a pillow pet, and it absolutely did not. We had it in our store forever. I would not pick up an off-brand again. This one was by Plushland, and it was a Sock Monkey Florida State Seminoles pet. We got that in the bins for $1.68, and it sold for our full asking price of $21.99. Next up was a Lakeland Sportswear Men's Suede Rancher Coat. It had a union tag in it. It was vintage. We got this at a garage sale for $5, and it sold for a full asking price of $79.99. Next up was a pair of women's Liverpool jeans in size 6. They were Orion Medium Dark Wash Bootcut Jeans. We got these at a thrift store for $4.35, and they sold for $18.99. Next up was a pair of Bruno Magli women's. They were a really specific size. They were US 8 AAA, black suede embellished heels, and they're made in Italy. We got these at a garage sale for just a dollar, and they sold for our full asking price of $89.99. And we just got positive feedback on those. I'm always relieved to get positive feedback on shoes and clothes because I know they're not coming back. Next up was a 2014 lot of Disney rubber bath squirter figures. It included Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy. We got this at a garage sale for just 50 cents, and these sold for our full asking price of $14.99. Next up was a shirt that we found in a storage unit. We had purchased a storage unit for, like, very low. This one either came out of our $30 unit or our $75 unit. There were lots of clothes in both of those units. And if it did not have stains, tears, or something wrong with it, we listed it. And that has been really worth it because we've made tons and tons of money on those cheap storage units. 
This was the brand by the brand Wrapper. It was a women's large knit ruffle cowl neck t-shirt. We paid just 28 cents for that. This one only sold for $10. I think I was getting desperate during the week and like accepting any offer that would make us any amount of positive profit at all. So I accepted this offer and we still made $4. So I'm good with that. Next up was a four piece Disney Mickey Mouse body parts magnet set. This was gifted to us to sell by a family member. This was in a recent unboxing video that we did and I had no idea what they were. It just looked like random magnets in there, but we ended up selling these. So we had no cost on them and they sold really quickly for $10.99. Next up was another item that was gifted to us. It came out of that same lot. This was a Revere Wear four and a half quart Dutch oven with lid. We had no cost on this because it was gifted to us and it sold for our full asking price of $34.99. Hi there, Wendy from The Edit. I realized that I left something out when I was doing this video, so I'm going to stick it in here real quick. It was a Texas Instruments 2004 TI-84 graphing calculator. We got it at a garage sale for $30 and it sold for our full asking price minus a discount we're running on office related items this month and it sold for $55.24. Next up was a Habitat carpet for a, a reptile, like a reptile aquarium Habitat carpet. It was new in the package. We got this at a garage sale for $2. It took forever to sell. It was not a good buy, but it did eventually sell for $23.99. That was our full asking price. Next up was an item we got just down the street at a garage sale. It was this really cool steampunk hat with these goggles and they had windshield wipers on the goggles that worked. Um, super cool. I'm sure someone was buying that for a Halloween costume. We paid $5 for that at a garage sale and it sold for $42.49. And I think that was a best offer or an offer to buyer. Next up, I will go over all the collectible cards that sold from my husband's personal collection. This week we sold lots of cards. We have not been selling a lot of cards, but card sales have definitely picked up. I think people sometimes buy them for Christmas gifts to help people complete sets or something like that. And these were all low value cards. We didn't sell anything over $10. But we sold six cards in total for a total dollar amount of $19.13. And that resulted in a pretty decent profit. So we'll take it. And sadly, that wraps up everything that sold for this week. It was quite literally the worst week of our entire year, but sales have already picked up again since we've been out of town. So I'm very hopeful about finishing out the year and not worried about it at all. I think it's just because we were traveling a lot and we were definitely on eBay's um, brown list, if you know what I mean. But anyway, this week we had 19 sales in total for an average sale price of $24.47. Sales totaled $464.94. That is so pitiful. And our net profit was only $249.93. We normally do a lot better than that, but you know, sale of you. We did get to have a nice trip to Vegas and we enjoyed it and have no regrets. So if you want to stick around and see our Boss Reseller Remix recap, that's coming up next. Enjoy that and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hotel, which is the downtown Grand. It's been a nice walk. The weather is beautiful. So we're going to head down to the Blind Center of Nevada and find all of our friends, make some new friends, and hopefully learn a bunch of stuff while we're there. We'll see you guys in there. Hi, we made it. We're about to get registered. to the remake. 
selling on eBay about six and a half years. Uh, my store is Anesthetic Miscellany or Miscellany. Both pronunciations are correct. Um, how about you, Angel? Angel, uh, the little life in Las Vegas. Uh, less than a year and a half. Uh, next month will be a year and a half that I started selling. Started off with t-shirts, got into, pivoted to button-ups, western wear, all kinds of different things now. Um, absolutely love it. I've got a great partner though. I mean, I couldn't be where I'm at right now without her. I am Sunny Las Vegas, also on YouTube. Let your phones will be okay for a second. Uh, I've been reselling now for six years. I had a look on my iPhone when it was asked earlier. Uh, February 2017, I started into apparel, and then I opened up, actually because of last year, hearing people how good they're doing, and I want to be just as good. And I love uh, I'm Kevin, part of KBW Bargains. I've uh, been reselling for probably around 15 years ago. I really got into it more full-time. Actually, I'm a professional sorcerer. Um, Brenda does most of the work. And dove right in. I sold my first item. I sold was a purse five years ago. That cha-ching. I've been loving it ever since. I think I've got a suggestion. I'm sure some of you do too. For like the next focus, I'm thinking Tupperware. <laughs> Ashtray. Anybody else have a suggestion? Pirate. Shameless plugs. That beautiful picture right there is one of our first signs. Arc on Broadway in Denver. It was literally opened in 1968. Um, and today I want to normalize clubs. I think everyone out there should not be ashamed of promoting our businesses. Person, but many kind of animals will sell. So if you are a clothing and a shoe seller and want to branch out somewhere, why not an animal collectible? They can be glass or pottery or clothing items or pillows. Yeah, it's an easy way to add a little sideline. Where do you find the freight salvage loads? So I don't give out my suppliers, but I will say most of the freight salvage that I find come from those in-person auctions that I mentioned. There was actually one that I did. Um, there was a big warehouse, I think it was Lowe's, and they had a fire. And all the sprinklers went off. Yeah, they're high school sweethearts, you know? Yeah, we, um, I don't know, it's kind of, we started off not really knowing, like our jobs were kind of like, yeah, so you say, you know what, let's just get together. She's a wife, a mother, a grandmother, an entrepreneur. She's been reselling on eBay since 1998. She co-hosts the eBay New England Sellers Meetup group with Trish Glenn, who's also here in the room, and she does so much for this community, which is probably why many of you already know her. So she is pretty wonderful. Of the course, she, the last several years, like about six years ago, I ended up um, going to court and getting full custody of my children. And then shortly after winning full custody of my children, I lost my home. Um, we ended up in the streets. I was living in a hotel, sleeping in a car. We are going to show you three items that you would probably want to pick up while you're out sourcing. We're going to ask that you come up with the overall eBay sold comp price. I Not, including that right. Not including shipping. Not including shipping. 